the house is growing ever so slightly. We are very quickly uh, discovering all sorts of neat little things, like the flowers that you can grow, and all sorts of interesting little decorative designs. Today's plan, get into hard mode. That means defeating the wall of flesh. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to get some uh, good weaponry, good armor, and uh, get to hell, essentially, I guess is the, uh, the way to do it. So let's get cracking at that. I love the little nods to uh, some of the other things in this world, like the gothic recreated with our lovely little uh, goblin friend and the electrician. Uh, the electrician who we haven't actually met yet. Mining, I suppose. Or rather, let's see what's going on over in this cavern. It's the problem with ultimately trying to dig a uh, elevator is that you get so easily distracted by the myriad of uh, different paths that appear, and distraction is like well, it's not my middle name. Might be my nickname. Eh, and nothing down here. Tis a shame. We are ultimately looking mostly for hearts, treasure, you know, those sorts of fun things. I just dicked over a whole bunch of my uh, lanterns. Beautiful. Torches. Torches, not lanterns. I'm not the green lantern. Yet. A blue jellyfish kite. Symmetry is hard. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I don't bother anymore. It's not worth it. There is something appealing about symmetry. There's something more appealing about getting a project completed. Hey, look, another treasure chest. Not another mimic. Fantastic, fantastic. It's almost like we're making it somewhere. Getting stuff done. Productivity. Not in our goal, but, you know, in, in something. We are miners. Bum, 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 bum. And of course, by miners, I mean, you know, like 14, 15. That's the age of all good heroes, right? Mushroom biome. Oh, fuck. Look, spider biome. Uh... Let's... Let's 
figure out where the spiders are so that we don't get ourselves killed. Looks like the spider biome goes to the right here. Okay, so let's go this way first then. Oh fuck, the spiders are spawning over in the mushrooms. We have a problem! A little bit of cobweb removal this way. Alright, well our elevator can't go through a spider layer. That, that does us no good. So we'll have to deal with that. Oh, it's a big fucking spider lair too. There's spiders down there. Ooh. I ain't an arachnophobe, but I ain't like spiders. Oh, this is going poorly. Oh, they hit hard. Holy shit. Alright. Spider lair sufficiently investigated. We know that uh, we'll have to close it off a little bit, but that's fine. We can do that. That is, of course, what we have fancy things like. Let's, see. Let's go use Team 3. Why not? What happens if we join another team? I'm not 100% sure why it's Team Green blocks. Maybe it's just like, only you can see them if they're a certain color or something? Either way, let's... Hollow this out. We have zero interest in Mrs. Spider's lair here. The ability to duplicate life crystals lets us just do this. Power ourselves up. Look at that. I think that's what, 400 health now? Yeah, 400 health. Phenomenal, phenomenal. We are now capped on mana and health. Which is super useful. We also are pretty well good on so many other different things that we have managed to find, which is just. that's nice. Now, plan is, we're almost done our little, uh, Tunnel of Doom, all the way down to the Magnificent... Magnificent Underworld. We're gonna get a bit of mining done in that Underworld, and then, from there, it's all a matter of killing the Wall of Flesh and getting Hard Mode activated. Hey, look! 
look, it's raining slimes. So uh, I guess what we gotta do then, we're gonna put that all the way up to 10. We're gonna take these slimes for a ride. Fight them off, cause afterwards, King Slime should spawn, and that, of course, will be uh, a fight for the ages. So, let's head on over here to a little bit of, uh... Ooh, no, I guess that's corrupted over there. Well, let's go this way then. And we will fight slimes. Slimes we shall fight. We're gonna fight them over this way. Where it's nice, flat, smooth. You know, for slimes raining from the sky, it's more zombies that are coming and fighting and facing us, so... Well, whatever. lag there. It says slime is raining from the sky, but... I mean, there's more zombies than slime, so you know, whatever. What we need is to open up this. And we're gonna go banner of the Bruce variety, of course. That'll help against the slimes a little bit. And we're actually going to flatten this out a little bit further. Because our battleground, as battlegroundy as it is, is uh, not yet flat. And flat battlegrounds, those those are important. So let's smooth this out real real quick. Actually, what we're gonna do? We're gonna free up some inventory space by researching some things. Can you please not? Like, seriously, go away. Uh, I think that's everything. So we'll dump that, dump that, oh, we can research that. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. That's good enough. There we go. Now, in theory, I think King Slime should spawn after we defeat all of these raining slimes. And if King Slime spawns, that'd be uh, a battle that we are not necessarily ready for. But two of us. The ability to semi-fly, I think, I think we'll survive. That's what I'm gonna stick, stay, say, say and stick to.
might as well uh, make this area a little bit more uh, combat oriented while we're here. And by that, I mean we will throw a sunflower up. And that will, uh... Oh, there's King Slime. Go time! Where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh, we are on Master, and we do currently have... Uh... A thousand or a hundred times spawn rate, so I think I think this will be an easy fight, despite everything. Ah! I say as I'm getting ruined. Hey! Easy stuff. And slime has stopped falling from the sky. I love to see that. Leg. And a King Slime Relic. Solid stuff. Well, now that we have actually killed uh, our lovely King Slime, I'm going to turn down the spawn rate. And we'll leave it right around there. And King Slime. Get the honor of going right here. Our house is looking pretty phenomenal, if I do say so myself. I like the vines kind of growing down. It's, uh, it looks good. It looks good. Now, we'll finish off the wall of flesh and get going from there. Wow, what a, what a, what a bait, what a bait. I got annihilated. Well, let's go back and take a look. Apparently those things are all rigged up to blow the fuck up on ya. Holy crap! Four boulders, three dart traps, explosives! I wonder what this chest has in it. Well, we'll grab all the dart traps, I guess. Torn in half by its explosives. No kidding. Ow, and not even worth it. Well, it's good to know that uh, you can't even trust chests anymore. So I saw something. What the hell did I just see? Ah! Ghost! Explosives over there. I think we'll go and grab those, and then we're almost at the bottom, the base, the un underworld.
Lost girl. Well, if she's a lost girl, then we obviously have to help her, right? Like, it's our duty as heroes or warriors or something. So, I'm just gonna put that there so I know exactly where I need to be digging in a second. And, uh, let's rescue the lost girl. And, uh, by rescue, I mean, like, of course, you know, rescue her with a gun, because she is in fact a nymph, and oh my gosh, as you can see she takes hardly any damage, oh shit, oh shit, oh we are getting, we are getting dicked, ugh, crawdad, why crawdad, you hit me for a hundred, that was unnecessary. Either way, metal detector, we already had that, but it's important to grab every time you see the lost girl, because they are rare to kill. Devil cosplay. Ah! Alright, elevator, done! You evil. Well, with that complete, I think we'll do a little bit of digging around, grab some. Ah! <laughs> grab some stuff and then get to. Uh... Notice, we're getting absolutely mobbed! Hey, that's what we were hunting for! We've been looking for a magical weapon for quite some time, and a Magical Scythe is exactly what we need. So, first and foremost, we'll pop that in there. And throw that in there. Now, where are you, Mr. Magical Scythe? There it is. Beautiful. Now, why do the scythes matter so much? Well, it's simple. The scythes are going to give us a way to deal with the uh, the wall of flesh. Now, it doesn't do a ton of damage, obviously, but it does pierce, and piercing damage very important to have because the wall of flesh is oftentimes blocked off by you know, thousands of his stupid little eater things. There we go. So that will just make that all the much easier. Get back here. All the much easier. Now, a way to fight the wall of flesh. We are going to be uh, constructing this platform all the way out. Ah! Without dying, ideally, and then away we go. I've never actually uh, seen this person before. The zoologist. Uh, hi, Ellen. What do you sell and why? Bunny tail, bunny ears. <laughs> Rideable flamingo mount. Right. Koi kite. 
Use to let a dog arrive in town. Use to let a cat arrive in town. Uh, well, let's see what happens when I do that and that. Because I have honestly no idea what's going to uh, happen. Also, let's... Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is phenomenal. So let's first of all equip that, because this is... <laughs> this is the stupidest thing. Also, leather whip. Phenomenal weaponry, obviously. Yeah, we'll sell that back. And just for curiosity. I think I prefer the heart. Well, that. Oh, cutie the cat. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That is hilarious. Does the cat live in a house? Oh, it lives in somebody else's house! That's so awesome! Oh, so I bet you a whole bunch of people can have, uh... Let's see, I don't see any dog yet. I bet you a whole bunch of people can have pets. So, aw, isn't this cute? Alila and Zach having a drink at the bar. I'll leave them alone. Pretend I didn't see them. And Baxter the dog has arrived. We'll go check him out in just a second. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not too far from home. The fairy glow sticks don't work how I thought, by the by. I thought, uh... I thought they would follow you, but turns out they hover, so, I mean, it's what it says they do. I just, for some reason, assumed hover meant to follow. Now, let's go see what Baxter the dog is up to. Oh, look, there he is. That is the weirdest walking animation. <laughs> Hi, Baxter. With whom do you live? Oh, you live with Zach. Cool. Well, let's, uh, let's carry on. So we're gonna do a temporary, uh, side trek from what I thought would be a good idea. Grab that, grab that. I believe that it will be very useful if we get some accessories and whatnot from the jungle to help with not only taking on ultimately Skeletron, but being able to take on uh, the Wall of Flesh. Come on, Mr. Bat. Just for the moment, I am going to be using oh, jungle purchase. Neat. I'm going to be using uh, glow sticks. Just because I'm going to be coming back here in a little bit, I'll do a very thorough uh, inspection. But I'm just kind of getting a lay of the land. Step one is figure out. Come on. Step one is figure out where people have been and haven't been. Like this, people have been down this way. Ow. Much appreciate that, Mr. Poison. And of course, throwing these uh, things around allows me to very, very easily sneak them into come on, cracks like that, so I can really get a proper lay of the land. 
So, let's see. I think what we need to do... Hey, hey, look, marble. I think what we need to do is here. Step one. Oh. Step one, take out Mr. Jungle Bad and Mr. Jungle Slime. Step two. Sticky dynamite tab. And I'm gonna do a little bit of marble collection so that we can uh, have it. There we go. 100 marble blocks, that's about all we need. Ah, they're throwing javelins. I, I don't want that. We're just gonna tuck down here and away we go. I don't feel like dealing with enemies too much right now. We're more on an exploration mission. Ow! We're looking for this sort of stuff right here, like jungle spores. Spores, of course, will be useful for crafting uh, armor if we need it, and of course, crafting other things. Come on, Mr. Man Eater. Fuck off. Thank you. The other thing we're here for is, of course, moon glows. You can see them lovely glowing right over there. In fact, I might be able to go this way around to get to it faster. The added whoop, benefit of being able to grab this jungle spore while I'm at it. Also, the music here, brand new. This is not the, uh... This is not the, the jungle theme that used to be. Or rather, I should say, the jungle theme that was playing on the surface was the jungle theme that used to play the whole time you were in the jungle. This... This new jungle theme? Oh, brand new. Also, uh, that is a honeycomb. Let's, uh... Let's... Ah! Oh! Okay, hello. Fuck off, please. Thank you. Carve a path around this. We don't want to wake up. Oh, that was... What did I just say? What did I literally just say? Oh, we are so dead. Um, okay. At least we can maybe... Impromptu fight against the queen. Not, not the way to do it. Not the way to do it at all.
Well, that's... That's what it is, I guess. Alright, that is not the, the way that we want to be doing things. The Demon Sight is absolutely fantastic at, at least taking out the little minion bugs. Even if it's not phenomenal at now, being able to handle the queen herself. Ow! Stop that shit! Queen, I need you to, really, I need you to stop doing that, please. killing us. And I don't mean Queen Bee either. I mean, Queen Bee is killing us, but... I don't think we... We have no lighting anywhere is the real problem here because I can't see when she's coming. This is gonna be close. Oh, this is gonna be way too close for my comfort. Come on, come on. Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Oh, it's gonna be way too close for comfort here, folks! Ah! Oh, this is gonna be bad. Come on, stay still, stay still, you bitch, stay still! No! 174 health left. Motherfucker. This is why we need better weapons, because if we can't even beat the Queen Bee, how the fuck are we going to be able to beat the, uh... <sighs> the Wall of Flesh.